This is exactly what you'll be able to create on CapCut PC by the end of this tutorial. If you are ready, please join me. Let's do this together. First of all, you need to search for your images and sound effects. I downloaded my images and sound effects on pizzabay.com. Images from this website are free. You can use content without having to attribute the auto and you can modify or adapt content into new works. For the sound effects, visit pizzabay.com forward slash sound effect and type in cards in the search field. Download as many as you want for free. You can remove the background from the car by using a website called remove.bg. Just upload the image on the website and the background will be automatically removed. Go ahead and download it and use it for this work. Now you have your images and sound effects. Let's head over to CapCut PC. Go ahead and launch CapCut PC. Import your images and sound effects. First of all, drag image of the tarmac road to the timeline, then the image of the car on top of the tarmac road, then add the car engine sound effect. As you can see, the sound effect is over 10 seconds long. So go ahead and stretch the image on the timeline to cover this length. Having the car image selected with the video and basic tab active, go ahead and scale down the car to about 3%. If I click on the zoom icon and zoom in a little, you can see the car over there. In fact, let me increase it to like 6%. I will go ahead and zoom out. Can you see the car over there? Yes. Now it's time to do the tricks. The whole idea is to make the car move towards our direction and also increase in size simultaneously. To achieve this, we will use key frames. But first of all, I will ensure that I synchronize the sound effect with the motion of the car. So now if I play the sound, you can hear the engine starts here, okay? At exactly 3 seconds, the car started moving. So my car will start moving at the 3 seconds mark. So having the car selected, I will go to 3 seconds mark and add keyframe for scale. I will go ahead and move to 10 seconds and also add another keyframe. Having the second keyframe selected, as you can see, is blue in color, which means the keyframe have been selected. I will scale up the car to about 95%. All right, done. I will go ahead and play the video. The car starts and it moves and increases in size simultaneously. So this way you can make a car moving animation in CapCut PC. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. One love.